Well, hello everybody, Mike with Spray Jones coming to you with another video on spray foam insulation. And today we're gonna do a closed cell two pound density foam by Huntsman on the backside of stairs of a new home that was built in 2022. Now we don't cover these kinds of structural topics a whole lot. I've got an old video that I'll have to update one day on the structural rigidity of spray foam. It's an old video from like 2018, 2019. You can go and find it in the library. But today's video, we're gonna be constantly concentrating on the rigidity that adds to stair stringers and um, to the risers and what have you. This was a request by the customer. He had heard about this, so I figured why not do it? Why not do a video about it so that you can get educated? You know, stairs typically will start to squeak and creak and uh, make noise all over the place. Sometimes they do need to be thermally insulated. You know, they go through a garage or from cold space into warm space, so you need to back them up with some additional thermal protection. But these ones are purely being done for uh, structural rigidity. So here we go, putting the foam on, two inch application, direct to deck. We're not going to need to do any caulking or air sealing, obviously. This is just a pure structural element. And you're going to gain massive amounts of rigidity with the foam. Just think about garage door panels and freezer panels and anything that you buy that has got foam filled in it, like a helmet or something like that. It becomes incredibly strong. In the previous video that I had done on uh, structural rigidity we compare two by four walls and two by six walls and how a two by four wall is actually stronger with closed cell foam at three inches than a two by six wall is so those are those are some neat stats we'll have to get into but here we're just putting the foam on simple application guys getting a nice even uh, disbursement of the foam on and then detailing out around the risers and the treads and into the stringers and then they're going to leave this in such a way that it's shallow enough that drywall can just be placed easily on the facing and they can finish off the interior. So we don't want it to have encompassing everything and then screw up our drywall lines, of course, right? This is going to provide immense rigidity to the backs of the stairs, stop them from creaking and uh, stop that settling and that squeak that you get, you know, a year or two into living into a brand new home. A lot of people don't think about this, but it's a really good addition. I mean, you don't need to spend a lot. If you think about how much area you've got in stairs and landings and, and rise over run, it's not a whole lot of surface area. So usually, you know, a thousand bucks or something like that towards spray foam is money well spent to get these kinds of things sealed up, provided you're not traveling very far to have to go do it. Sort of an add-on feature uh, for when we're actually at the house and doing the rest of the insulation. So here you go. Here's what two inches of closed cell foam looks like. Stairs going upstairs, landing, going downstairs again. Just giving it some structural support like you'd get in a panel. And then they're not gonna be squeaking and creaking and moving around and they're gonna stay in a solid position. You know, when I was doing RTM homes, the RTMs would be so solid from spray foam that when they went and picked those homes up to move them, they were exactly frozen in the, the location of how they sat in the yard. There would be no twist or give in them whatsoever. So here you go, like, subscribe, share, lay out a comment, share this with somebody who's interested in getting this done, show them that Spray Jones has got some answers. Give us a phone call if you're interested and we'll catch you on the next video.